All right, basic AutoCAD problem number two. In this one, we're going to draw a basic three-point arc. We're going to draw some circles of radius and diameter, and then we're going to draw an ellipse. So we're just drawing something very straightforward and simple. Um, again, the same thing. We're going to want to check our O-snap. We're going to want to do our save time. We're going to want to do save as. We're going to do all those kind of different things. So I've got the file open, and I'm going to do a save as. And, and it's going to go to the folder. There it goes, AutoCAD. And I'm going to save it in there. So I'm saving it to my folder, to the AutoCAD folder. Um, if I'm doing a more complicated problem, I'm going to want to hit that save time and I'll probably want to save it to every five or ten minutes. In this problem, you should be able to actually really draw it in less than five minutes. But anyways, and then let's come over here. I want to make sure visible is the current layer. And I'm going to do the O-snap to make sure O-snap is turned on. I'm going to turn select them all. And if I pay attention to the snap, I can see where it's going. And then we're going to draw this. So we're going to start by drawing a simple three-point arc. If we go to the art command and I click here with my mouse and I left click on that little drop down, you'll notice that it brings up a whole bunch of different arcs that we could possibly use. We're just going to use a plain basic three point. And then it's just a matter of paying attention to where we click. And click to the intersection. Intersection. And intersection. Now that's perfectly normal, right? Now I'm going to hit the enter key because I want to draw it again. And then I'm going to hit F12 and turn dynamic input on because I want you to see, because usually dynamic input will create a whole totally different arc than what we were going for, which is why we sometimes have to make sure that it's turned on or off. Oh, well, of course, I'm on this time, it wants to draw, all right? So just pay attention. If it's not drawing the way you think it should, hit that F12 to turn dynamic input on and off, and it should take care of that problem for you. All right, next we're going to draw a circle that has a radius of 0.75 and then a diameter. So again, you can go to the drop down menu and pick the one that you want. Or you can type in C, enter. Escape, there it goes. C, enter. And it'll say, okay, where do you want it to go? So you, that's what AutoCAD's going to ask. When you tell it to do something, where do you want me to start? And then after that, I can tell it what it to be. Now notice at the bottom it says radius or diameter. So it defaults to radius. If you want to change it to diameter, you have to type in D enter to change it up. So if you're doing the two key stroke, you have to pay attention to that. So it has a radius of 0.75. Okay, good. And if we're not sure if we did it right, you can also use your draw tool. And there we go. So we know we did it right. So I can draw a circle in, D enter, because it's got to be a Escape, circle, enter, pick the starting point, which would be here, D for diameter, D enter, and then it's going to say, okay, what do you want the diameter to be, and the diameter is supposed to be 1.25. So there we go. That wasn't too hard, right? And again, you can switch back and forth here to the different drawing. It doesn't matter really to me which one you use, as long as you use it. And I'm just using that little pen tool to move around. So I can zoom in. Now I want to draw an ellipse that fits perfectly in here. So we're going to draw the ellipse tool. Again, all those little drop down arrows have different drawing tools that we can pick from. So we're going to draw a um, axis end center. Notice how it kind of has like the three points like what we're looking for. If we use this one, I want to show you what it looks like. Because this makes it quite often. So it's like the half of it. So notice like it's twice as big as what we were really wanting it to be. So I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna make sure I'm using the axis end ellipse when I'm drawing that. Crap. Control Z will undo. Point, ooh, no, Control Z, escape. No, we don't want that. There we go, point, point, And there you go. Now, since we're drawing in model space, we want to see what it looks like in paper space. Go over here and notice it's followed us over to paper space. So now you need to come in and you need to do the exact same thing again. Double click on it, or right, highlight your name, and put that in. Remember, do not hit the enter key. Once you've got everything typed in like you want, left click to the outside somewhere. And then you also need to change the date, the course number, and the professor. And then you would also do a save as, make sure you haven't lost it. Make sure it's going to the right place. Yes, save, yes, replace. And then again, 
you will print it, you'll print it in the lab, and you'll turn it in a printout, and then you'll log into Blackboard and you'll submit this to me in Blackboard for me to see. Remember, I like to have both. I like to have the written copy so that I can write on it and draw and get it back to you. And then, too, I like to have the electronic copy to ensure that we're not doing any cheating. So we don't want to do that, and I'm able to do that with electronic copies. That's why we do it that way. All right, congratulations. We're going to go on to...